George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. Okay, back again in the creditjungle.com today, and this is another segue on how to sell your mortgage. And we're gonna go and show the numerical benefit of being able to offer a seller financing contract to a buyer that is a benefit for both the buyer and the seller. Let's face it, folks, everybody that's had a mortgage knows that your mortgage gets sold. Mortgages get sold because it's a way to make money off of a loan. Well, there's a lot of low interest rate mortgages out there that are not gonna get paid off anytime soon because the sellers have a natural hesitancy of being able to do that. The nice thing about these seller finance contracts that we're talking about here is that they're not going to trigger the due on sale clause that every mortgage has on it, which is a very important feature. We get asked that a lot. But um, let's, let's go back to this scenario here where the buyer, if he's going to come in, if he's going to get new financing on this, he's going to buy the home. And I correction from the previous one, this is a 10% down loan. 10% down is typically the threshold where, in my opinion, and a lot of people that I work with, that that's where you can do a seller finance contract, where you're going to have a buyer that's got skin in the game, very low risk of default, and it also makes it, it so that the seller can get some money to move on and get into their next house. But $667,000 sales price, we've got a $67,000 down payment, a little above 10%, but here's our $600,000 loan amount. If the buyer is going to go out and get new money, he's going to have a payment of $4,093. This does not include taxes and insurance, and it does not include mortgage insurance, which is probably going to be anywhere, depending on the credit scores, from you know $100 a month to double that if it's, if it's in there. So, so there's mortgage insurance in addition to that. So that's taking the current rates if we're using seven and a quarter as a rate on there. So what if as a seller, okay, you're a savvy person, Let's just say that you've got an underlying mortgage that is at three and a quarter percent. There's a lot of people with those rates and even better. But let's just for argument's sake, let's use three and a quarter, three and a half, something like that. What actually happens when you go ahead and create a seller finance contract that overlays the mortgage that you have on yours? Well, what happens now is that you are making money off of the bank's money. So let's just say you've got a $300,000, $400,000 underlying loan. If it's at 3.5%, if you do the seller finance contract at 5.5%, you're going to make 2% on a $400,000 loan. That's, that's on the bank's money. Okay, That's leverage. And, and it's a very safe form of leverage because, again, these people are buying a home. They're probably buying it to live in it. They're coming up with 10% down. But how does the math look and why would they be willing to do that? Well, here's a reason why. Let's just say that we decide that, you know what, I think I'm willing to entertain this idea. You've run the numbers on this. You go to the buyer and say, if I'm willing to give you guys a seller finance contract that is one and three quarter percent below current market, well, that would cost quite a bit of money to get down to that, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer you financing from me at five and a half percent. We're going to raise the price of the home $43,000, not 53. We're going to raise it $43,000. And then your purchase price is going to be $710,000. We're still going to take the $67,000 down, but now you're going to be financing $43,000 more money. Now, you know, I don't want to be a car salesman, but let's, let's face it, folks. When we go in and if somebody's buying a car and if you're going to get financing or if people are buying a house and they're has scarce dollars if they're not paying cash and they're getting a loan the payment matters okay as a buyer you're looking at this and you're going well wait a minute okay this doesn't really bother me so much i'm more worried about this the four thousand ninety three dollar a month payment principal and interest you're telling me that i can have my principal and interest payment be three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars okay i can save four hundred and forty three dollars a month on that and I've just got to pay an extra 43000 for the house to be able to do it? Buyer says, I'm in. But wait a minute, George, you said that the buyer was going to be able to save $500 a month under this transaction. Well, guess what? This is a seller finance contract over here. So guess what else we don't have with this $643,000 loan? The closing costs are much less. There's no appraisal. Uh, the title fees are less. Uh, you don't have any lender fees or anything of that nature. But the other benefit is you don't have any mortgage insurance on this payment either. 
So if that mortgage insurance payment under the best case scenario was $100 a month, maybe worst case $200, we're, we're potentially saving this buyer $600 a month over what their payment would be here. Do you think that the buyer is okay saving $500 plus per month and overpaying for the house? Well, he's not really overpaying because his financing is right here. His financing is 30-year fixed rate. Now, the financing, there can be a, a, a stepped-up rate where the rate goes up in two years, it goes up in three years, five years. You can. These are all terms that are negotiated between the buyer and the seller. But this, is, this extra $43,000 here, also, if this seller has lived in the home as their primary residence for two of the last five years, this is an additional $43,000 of tax-free money. Now, we can get into some of the details of, well, where does the seller come up with the balance of their equity? How does it affect them getting into their next home? I've addressed this stuff in my Move Your Mortgage videos. I think there's three parts in that one that go into this one. But the purpose of this is to show how the pricing in the real world, okay, if somebody wanted to get that five and a quarter percent interest rate, they don't have the money to do it. And in the mortgage world, I can't add $53,000 to the loan to get you that lower interest rate. But if the seller wants to be the bank, the seller can add whatever they want onto that and then they can make those terms of the loan whatever they need that fits the needs of the seller, fits the needs of the buyer. This is a great way to sell, sell real estate in a market that is ever changing on us and just some food for thought. So thanks for coming into thecreditjungle.com today. This is George Anderson. Remember, you can push button and get a mortgage professional. I'd love to crunch the numbers on this for you and just show you how much fun it is. I have personally done this on 12 transactions myself, personally, and then I have coached and crunched the numbers for dozens of other people who are doing the same thing. This is a very safe transaction because you've got a buyer that has skin in the game and you're giving them a great deal that's not available in the open market right now. So anyway, hope that helps, something to chew on. You have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.